I've spoken in the past about how social media can be a breeding ground for pseudoscientific misinformation, and now there is a brand new study that also claims to look into the Facebook echo chamber that conspiracy theorists live in, and the researchers are claiming that it's so bad that these conspiracy theorists can't even tell when they're being made fun of. Italian researchers demonstrated this by looking at thousands of users who commented on either science news pages or conspiracy theory pages. And what they found was that the people who commented on conspiracy theory pages, by and large, did not interact with any other kinds of pages. So that's that echo chamber effect that we've talked about before. But the fun part of the study came next when the researchers posted nearly 5,000 troll comments to both the science pages and the conspiracy pages. And in these comments, they tried to make uh, completely ridiculous, unsubstantiated rumors that could really only be taken as satire of the conspiracy theories. So for instance, one of them was the idea that chemtrails, which are more sanely known as contrails, that's the water vapor uh, clouds that form after airplanes sometimes in the right conditions, chemtrails have been chemically analyzed and found to contain Viagra. So yes, the government is dosing the public with boner pills. The researchers found that compared to the users of the science pages, the conspiracy theorists were much, much, much more likely to like and share those unsubstantiated comments. In other words, they couldn't actually tell the difference between satire and quote unquote real conspiracy theories. But here's the thing, I also can't differentiate between those two things. Uh, when I read the headlines originally about how scientists have proven that conspiracy theorists uh, will believe anything, even the most ridiculous made up things, uh, I really thought that the researchers were going to go above and beyond to come up with something ridiculous. But if you think that clouds of Viagra are ridiculous, you don't know what conspiracy theorists actually believe about chemtrails. I've done a video on this before. They actually believe that you can dissipate chemtrails five miles in the sky by filling up a squirt bottle with vinegar and spritzing it above your head. That's what they actually believe. So why wouldn't they believe that there's Viagra in the air? One of the other obviously false rumors that the researchers came up with was the idea that a free energy machine has been created, which I'm pretty sure is reported on conspiracy theorist websites at least once a week. So if you want to test whether or not conspiracy theorists will believe in absolutely anything regardless of the truth, you're going to have to work really hard to come up with more ridiculous things than what you could find in the average Alex Jones post. We're talking about people who literally believe that the world economy is controlled by lizard people. Actual lizard people. Do we really need to spend the time and money on scientific studies to determine whether or not they can tell when we're making fun of them?